Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're gonna be solving a physics 7c practice problem on the topic of mirrors. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like, it really helps our channel. So this is a problem that we're gonna be working on today. When a 2.5 centimeter stall light bulb is placed in front of a spherical mirror of a known focal length, a four centimeter stall real image of the bulb is formed on a screen located 18 centimeters from the light bulb. What is the focal length of the mirror? Hint, draw a picture. Okay, so as you can see, I have uh, the instructions over here, my two uh, mirror equations, my thin lenses equations. And I have a little line over here that I'm going to be using to uh, draw my picture as suggested. So let's see. So we have a mirror, which I'm just going to put a straight line because I don't really know if it's uh, concave or convex. So I'm just going to I'm just going to say this is some mirror. And then there is, you know, a light bulb. I'm just gonna just so this is the object and the object is 2.5 centimeters tall so if it's 2.5 centimeters tall that means that um, the height of the object is 2.5 centimeters and then there is a, a screen, 18 centimeters. Is it behind or is it in front? First of all, it has to be on the uh, front of the mirror. Uh, because it makes a real image. And whenever you have a mirror, uh, if your image is real, it is on the same side as the reflective side. So the our uh, screen is either here or here in front of the mirror, but I don't know if it's uh, on the front or on the back. So let's just look at the height of the... Oh, okay, so here it is, it's four centimeters. So the height of my image First of all, it's uh, four centimeters. Second of all, it has to be negative because whenever we have mirrors and we have a real image, uh, it must always be inverted. And that is because, uh, you know, if you just look at this equation right here, I'm just gonna convince you real fast that it has to be negative. Okay, so O is always positive, and this is always positive, right? That is just convention. The object is always in front of the mirror. There is no point of putting the object behind the mirror. Why would you put it behind the mirror? Then nothing would get reflected, so this is always positive. This is always positive because this sign is with respect to the object. So uh, it, it's just positive all the time. O and H are always positive. If you're saying that the image is real, then that means that your image is positive. So therefore, by this sign, whenever you have a real image, 100% of the time, then um, HI needs to be negative 100% of the time. Because if you have plus, 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 and you have a minus here, literally the only thing on the entire equation that could be negative is HI. So that's a little bit of a hint for you. Whenever you have a, um, whenever you have a real image, um, HI uh, is negative, just just by looking at the signs on the equation. So it's going to be negative four. Now, just by looking at these numbers and the same equation, I can tell that the image is actually behind this. object and not in front. So this is 18 centimeters. And then my image 
it's a little bit taller and it's four centimeters inverted. How do I know that it has to be behind? Well, again, look at the same uh, equation. Magnification is HI over HO. Um, in order for an object to be magnified, Oh, and this is also negative i over o. If an object is going to be magnified, which this object is magnified because uh, the image is taller than the original, then that means that this distance is greater than this distance, right? Because these two divisions have to be the same. So if an object is magnified, then that also means that it's farther away. Again, just by looking at the equation, it has to be uh, over here and not in front of. Now, I have a distance between the object and the image, but I don't have my distances from the mirror to the object. So I, in other words, I don't have O. And I also don't have the distance from the mirror to the image, so I also don't have I. If I had these two, then the problem would be very easy because the I, I would just use this equation and find uh, F, right? But I don't, I don't have either of them. So I'm going to have to figure out how to uh, get it. The only thing that I know is that um, just by looking at, you know, this distance from the object is what we call O. And this distance is what we call I. So is there a way to relate this to the centimeters? Yes, we can make an equation out of this because I can say that 18 plus O is equal to I, like this. Just look at the distances. I is the largest distance, and then we have O, and then we have 18. So we have this relationship, even though we don't have O or I. So what I'm thinking is, let's use our magnification equation to see if we can get something out of it and see if we can get something out of it that we can complement with this. Because right now, I mean, that's the only thing that I can think um, that I can think of. This is not going to work if we don't have anything on the equation. So literally, the only thing we can do is go for M. So M is equal to HI over HO. So negative 4 over 2.5. So M, let's see, negative 4 over 2.5, negative 1.6. And then uh, this 1.6 is also equal to negative I over O, like this. If I take away, if I grab this part and take away the negative signs, then my equation is 1.60. Oh, this looks like 60. Okay, this is an O is equal to I. And now we have two equations, two variables. So pick whichever you want to choose for first. So 1.60 is equal to i. So what I'm going to do is just combine them. And uh, oh, both are equal to i. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to copy that 18 plus o is equal to 1.60. So 18 is equal to 0 0.60. So o is equal divided by 0 0.6 30 centimeters so this is 30 centimeters why do we use O? it looks like a zero I've never thought about it but it's so annoying so O is equal to 30 centimeters and then basically I just multiply times 1.6 30 times 1.6 and I is equal to 48 centimeters.
And now the problem is very easy because all I have to do is apply this equation to find f. So let's just go ahead and do that real fast. So 1 over f is equal to 1 over... Um, oh, and we got a positive number, which was expected because uh, this is a real image. So that, that's very reassuring. What I always do here is, again, if you have another technique, then go ahead. But I do like to just not worry about this at all. Um, 30 plus 48. So F. No, divided by 78, 18.46 centimeters. Centimeters because these two are centimeters. Final answer. So this is the end of the problem. You know, once we got here, then it's just a matter of putting things on a calculator. But I do think that this problem is a little challenging because first of all, you don't get a picture. Um, second of all, you need to know that I is, that HI is negative. That's not something that they tell you. They tell you that it's four centimeters tall, but they don't tell you um, if it's inverted or not. So that's difficult. The problem doesn't tell you whether this is in front of the mirror, on the back of the mirror, they also don't... Well, no, they do because it's a real image, so that's fine. But they don't tell you whether it's uh, behind the object or in front of the object. You have to, again, um, spend some time looking at this equation on the quiz uh, to figure that out. And then once you figure that out, we still needed to solve a system of equations. Um, I mean, a, a pretty easy one, but we still needed to, and that's you know, that's adding difficulty. Um, I'm just trying to figure out if this is going to be a yellow or red, but I think it's going to be red because then you have to solve the system of equations, get this, and then you did this. So, you know, overall, it was a quick practice problem, but I do think that this is a more on the uh, challenging side because it really did test your knowledge um, on mirrors or you know, your ability to look at an equation and just figure, um, you know, these, these pieces of information that we were able to figure out today. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, please leave a like on this video. It really helps our channel and I'll see you on the next video.